So I requested uh, the speaker to summon the foreign minister to the parliament for questioning uh, regarding the derogatory remarks by some of the government's senior officials uh, day before yesterday. And uh, while the parliament is still in recess, we are trying to hold a special session within the recess uh, for the summons. Okay, so how do you see the actions taken by the current government against the ministers who made such derogatory remarks? So I think uh, what the government has done is not sufficient. I think that uh, it requires, the gravity of the situation requires that the government issues a formal apology as well as uh, immediately terminate the said deputy ministers in question. Um, I think suspension is not uh, the right way to go about it and I think uh, we have had a very strong and valuable relationship with India and I think the ruling party needs to uh, weigh uh, what the Maldives requires more, whether uh, what the Maldives values more, whether it values its relationship with India or uh, it is holding uh, the relationship and the loyalty the said deputy ministers have with the ruling party as more important. So when can we see that in the parliament? I mean, when will the parliament reconvene? Oh, the official date for the parliament to reconvene is February, but we are trying to hold a session within the recess as well. So as we speak, the Maldivian president is in China. He's supposed to meet um, the president of China, Xi Jinping. Uh, you know, breaking away from the tradition of visiting India first as their first uh, foreign destination. How do you see such shift in the policy? Well, I am uh, sad to see that Maldives has uh, steered away from uh, its uh, age-old foreign policy, which would uh, always put India first. And it was a very balanced for the foreign policy approach where we I think understood the realities of our geography as well and our mutual uh, strategic interests and uh, we have always remembered that we are India's backyard and I think that is a reality that we cannot ignore or disregard. Uh, so it is very disappointing that the government has uh, taken this approach and uh, steered away from years and years of uh, foreign policy that the Maldives has maintained. So we have seen what China has done to Sri Lanka. As I mentioned, he is in uh, China and key agreements are you know, supposed to be signed. Do you think Mali is going the same way uh, under President Muizu? Well, I uh, am concerned that there is the lack of transparency in uh, disclosing the agreements and uh, uh, keeping us privy the parliament privy to such agreements um, and we had recently heard that they had made uh, a thir uh, 30 day visa free sorry uh, we had recently uh, seen that uh, the government declared uh, that Chinese tourist arrivals wouldn't need a visa anymore but uh, we have had a 30 day visa free rule for all countries mm -hmm. in the Maldives so it is a bit strange for them to announce the such things. So, what will you say on India's assistance to Mali that it has provided over the years, be it COVID vaccines or uh, supporting in, uh, through Operation uh, Pani? Uh, how do you think that this is going to have an impact on the tourism? Because since this controversy has begun, a lot of uh, there, there has been a decline in the Indian tourists who have been coming to Maldives. So, what will you say on assistance and what impact do you think it will have on the tourism sector? Well, India has always been our strongest ally when, when in our, uh, our time of need. And India has always uh, given us a helping hand. Mm, be it the 1988 coup, uh, which we had here, uh, or the COVID vaccines which were provided to us and we were the first I think uh, country to have received such assistance from India. Uh, India has always been with us and I think that what's happening is although it is sad and appalling I don't find it shocking that uh, 
I find that this is the culmination of years and years of systematic uh, in anti-India rhetoric that has been spewed by the current ruling party. And I think it is very sad that they are finding it hard to differentiate between uh, working as uh, opposition activists and now managing their roles as uh, ministers of a government.